Gabe Ross with your first alert forecast. Picked up on some decent rainfall. Most of it happened while you were sleeping, but still two tenths of an inch of rain. Nothing really to scoff at considering where we have been for at least uh, most of 2023 and the deficit we took in from last year. Quiet for the time being and likely will be outside of any rogue sprinkles here or there. Most of that moisture remaining off to the south. Want to go long range though because the pattern is going to remain unsettled all the way really through the end of the week. Then we'll get some help with a front that rolls in, but it's not a guarantee. Of course, as we go long range, and it's harder to pick out some of those individual clusters, but that unsettled pattern, that's the big trend we're seeing through Friday. And really a lot of this uh, rain activity wrapping up by late Friday afternoon and Friday evening as that front pushes through. What that means, much cooler temperatures for especially Saturday morning, Sunday, and it's a Monday too, but we are going to be mainly dry. So I know some of the models indicative at least a few days ago of perhaps cold air chasing uh, some moisture and well, it's not really going to be the case. Uh, looks like we'll be mainly dry as we head into Saturday, but boy, get the winter coats ready. Once again, tonight going to be kind of on the warm side for where we should be for late January, upper forties, lower fifties. Do want to caution you about some of those fog banks by daybreak tomorrow could linger a little bit and lower to mid sixties. These are some of the warmest temps we'll see here in the next few days, certainly for the last day of the month of January. We'll keep those rain odds around 30 to 40%. Again, it's not a guarantee, but certainly clouds and some off and on patchy showers and a few breaks here and there in the clouds may a lot for a little drying. Outside we go with our David and Associates First Alert Sky Cam. High atop the Corner Cafe, looking at the traffic stopped at the traffic light here on Broad Street. Current stats from Elizabethtown, 58 degrees. And cloudy skies, very evident by the view we have. A north wind at three dew points in the mid 50s. So the dew point and air temperature there a little closer together. This may be one of those spots where we see a little bit of that isolated fog develop, uh, at least on the early part of the overnight tonight. So here we'll tick back from the 50s to the upper 40s and lower 50s. Notice not much of a fall, maybe about 5 to 10 degrees at most if some spots are lucky there. And then here are your lower, lower and middle 60s come tomorrow afternoon. Coast and back, and notice we get kind of some wedging working in here with the first series of fronts uh, scheduled to come in. Still westerly winds for spots along Brunswick County, and really south of 74, 76. Colder air from the north and northeast, allowing for those upper 40s and lower 50s, but there is still enough of a temperature spread. And this is the pattern we wind up with come Wednesday. Actually, cooler air funneling in with this first front. And that's going to limit temperature growth likely to the middle and lower 50s. There are going to be spots up to the north that get stuck in the 40s. And temps really don't do anything but either stay the same or drop. Let's look at what we've seen thus far this month. One more day to go. And you can see, aside from four other days, we've had temperatures, high temps that have hit above average. So you factor in all the math. That's close to 12 and a half degrees above average as far as those high temps are concerned. But those cooler temps, not far away as you notice the trend of middle and lower 50s carrying through groundhog day itself could feature of course a few showers we'll keep you updated on what all the area groundhogs are saying as we like to do year after year and check out those ooh, brutal upper 40s come saturday and sunday but friend overall a pretty dry weekend you may have to dodge a shower here or there but shouldn't have any issues if you plan on being outside